Easy peasy, a one-time pad is unbreakable, but can you manage to recover the flag wrap with Pico CTF? Maybe there's a way to make this a two times pad. All right, well, let's see what we got here. So I'm going to grab this file and see what it looks like. All right, so there's a key file. It's 50,000 long. There's a flag file. And what they do is they apply the key to the flag. Okay. But there's a loop. So it looks like if we pump in more than 50,000 characters, we're going to wrap around. So let's see, NC Mercury. Go to ctf.net58913. All right, so there's my encrypted flag. Let's figure out how long that is. All right, so 64 hex digits, that's 32 characters long. All right, so if we say print. Um, 49,968 A's. That'll get us to having encrypted 50,000 things. And then we'll do 32 more things. Okay, and then we'll pipe that into Netcat. Three. All right, so this should be encrypted with the same data as the flag was. So we'll so there's the flag and presumably the A is encrypted with the same flag. So what we can do is we'll say that the encrypted flag is this encrypted A's are this and then the, just the A's themselves so the plain text A's that's uh, 61 in hex So just get a lot of 61s there. All right, so what we want to do is we want to exclusive or the encrypted flag with the encrypted A's with the plain text A's, and that should give us back the original flag because we know that the encrypted flag is equal to the flag exclusive or the key. And we know that the encrypted A's is equal to uh, the plain text A's exclusive or the key. So if we exclusive or together the encrypted flag and the encrypted A's, that's going to equal the plain text A's exclusive or the flag. And then we just need to exclusive or that with the plain text A's to get back the flag. So we'll just say. Um, colon x dot format. Uh, we want the encrypted flag exclusive or the encrypted A's exclusive or the plain text A's. And then we're going to print that out in hexadecimal, which is what that format call does. So that gives us this. And so presumably this we can throw in a hex to text converter. And that should be our flag. And then it says we need to wrap that with Pico CTF. So Pico CTF, paste that. And there we go.